A Las Vegas native who has been a trailblazer for women and African Americans. Sandra Douglas Morgan was the first African American city attorney in the state of Nevada, the first African American woman to oversee Nevada's Gaming Control Board. And now she embraces her new role as the NFL's first female African American team president. Well, on July 7th, when Mark Davis, you know, announced you as team president, it was it was so empowering to see a woman of color, a female in that role. Uh, you know, when I, I saw the pictures of you, it made me say I could do that. My daughters could do that. You know, my future generation of females could be in this position. Has it been a goal of yours to to always push the door open for women of color? Well, I, if I'm able to, then absolutely. You know, and I realize that I've been really blessed and, and lucky to have been able to break um, barriers um, in Nevada and now, you know, in the NFL. So, Paloma, even your comments just mean so much to me. Um, just making sure that other people have an opportunity to achieve things that obviously weren't in the cards for us. You know, even I would say not only decades ago, but even five years ago. So we're at a point where we don't want to have to necessarily be the first. We want to get past that. We want to make sure that we are being judged and evaluated based on our own experience and our abilities. But look, it, it, you know, it has to happen. And so I'm just happy to be able to hopefully be some an inspiration to girls and women, you know, to be able to hopefully achieve, um, you know, just being an executive in an NFL team. A young girl looking up at the TV, a young girl seeing your photo, seeing your family. Um, what would you tell that young girl who is looking up to you and, and sees you as sometimes the only woman in the room? To make sure that she's going to be beside me or next to me or at the head of that table, you know, in 10, 20 or 30 years or maybe even five. Um, to, we have to, you have to see yourself in the position that you want to get. And so if I can inspire again, um, you know, girls and women to say, okay, she's there, I'm gonna be the next one there, or I'm going to join her, um, I think that would be, you know, that, that's amazing. And that makes all of this even more worthwhile. Well, it's been a busy first month on the job for Morgan, who's been flying across the country to the Hall of Fame game and league meetings in Minneapolis. It's also been a full circle moment for her uh, being the team president, giving back to her community she grew up in, sending over 1,500 students back to school this week with free haircuts. But most importantly, it's just inspiring to see an African-American woman in that position and the opportunity she's creating for women of color.